I'm uh, Amani Hariri. I'm a, an assistant professor in the chemistry department at UBC, and I'm also an affiliate member in the School of Biomedical Engineering in, in the Brain Center. My interest particularly lie, uh, lies in, in the brain, in, in understanding the chemistry of the brain. So we want to do that by understanding how the brain is mapped, how depression or addiction impacts the circuitry of the brain. So there is like different circuits in our brain and if we measure them uh, at more the molecular level, so not only electric signal, we are now measuring how the neurons are communicating together. So we can insert this very small optical fiber probe through which we can transmit and collect back the light that we are getting from the binding of the serotonin and the dopamine. If we take DNA out of its biological context, we could use it as a building block to build these very tiny uh, sensors that could bind to dopamine or serotonin. Then um, we label them with a molecule that will emit light when the target binds and we can detect this light through a very sensitive camera or detector. We want to target very particular area of the brain, give the mouse like the different triggers that we want to basically measure using our sensors. We want to measure behavior, uh, social behavior. We want to measure a behavior following a particular drug or a particular social event or a particular food. So we want to correlate this behavior to what's happening and what's being released in the brain. Certain drugs uh, could be used for good purposes if we understand how they work on the brain of each individual.